I will go to her count here and I will choose something like 75,000 and I will display here um, something like 5% of that 2000 okay so hair count, hair segments, hair passes now I have to style my hair I will change the color here to something just for mm, for my character it's not for the final render like this okay for now only of course later I will change the color to something better when we uh, uh, when we add the materials to our character I will press now inside this hair and fair wall space modifiers uh, the style hair before that as you can see this uh, indicates the selection tools uh, the guides, the face, the polygons and the elements uh, you can select you can use those selection tools to select uh, any of that uh, uh, elements inside your uh, object you can name selection, copy them, paste them etc and you can use tools like recomp from sublines if you have sublines you can recomp from uh, sublines uh, as soon as you uh, press it it becomes active and you can use it you can reset the state of your hair uh, regrow the hair you can load a presets and you can save your preset as well copy and paste okay now in styling I will press style here as you can see there is uh, lines that uh, go straight out of the hair those lines are uh, the uh, um, let's say the the guides of the hair and as you can see directly here the selection turned to yellow indicating that it is active now there is a very simple thing to make very nice hair is by pressing one button here which is recomp as soon as you press recomp all the hair will become very nice and we will go here and we will puff the roots a little bit from the top here there. okay and I will scale the hairs at the bottom a little bit longer like this and I will translate their locations a bit outwards this way okay and as you can see I have the hairs next to the ear here I need to cut that off so I will use the um, the cut here cut here I will go to my left viewport And I will cut the hair here. Press F3. Can see that? Cut here, here, there. Cut this one. Smaller brush. And cut here. Okay, this is enough. I'll cut a little bit here. All right. Now we have the hair for our character. Of course, if I need to make it longer. I have to scale it but this is very nice and enough I can go here in general parameters and change the count of the hair it will change as well in render time and uh, the hair segments the hair passes when rendering uh, density I can of course it's a hundred percent now this is the highest uh, amount uh, scale 
you can cut the length shorter here or longer here and you can random the scale some long some short like that I will make the random I will give it a lower value I don't want a lot of random r inside my hairs uh, root thickness tip thickness I will higher this to 10 and tip thickness to 5 or 3 oh sorry let's take a number between them 4 I can displace a little bit and you remember that I pushed the head a little bit inside so I can displace this like 2 so the hair comes outside a little bit here I can change the materials and colors and the highlights of my hair I can change the color, the tip color of the hair, the root color of the hair and as you already uh, uh, saw before that I changed those two colors and directly the colors changed inside my viewport uh, you can change the hue variation, uh, the value also of uh, the colors and the hue uh, you can change it so the value will vary uh, depending on the percentage you choose here